how to batch print message files to PDF and keep the source file name of the message file for the uh, message body instead of being named memo style.pdf you can actually rename it to J say jpeg file test message file now to do this you need batch and print pro and the message add-on which is in this link now drag and drop those two files now set the printer setup for example adobe pdf properties I need these settings here you need to output to a folder C test which is this folder here uh, you don't want to view results you don't want to ask to replace so once that's set then you can highlight and right mouse on those two files what I've just added add on setup now in this case I don't want to print attachments I want to rename the memo style PDF to source file.pdf and the folder that's scanning is C test. This is where the PDFs are going to be created. The actual PDFs are created by Adobe PDF printer, not by the message setup. It's just going to scan that folder. Save and exit. Now you need to set in options, general op setup options, wait for spool queue to be clear before printing next file. This is so it doesn't get confused when printing multiple files that the same file name is going to be memo style.pdf so it, it gives it a little bit of time to change the name of the file. Now to do this click print as you can see it's created the file already so it's jpeg file test which is same as that same file test1.pdf there so it's done that for you you can open these files and it's the actual Text message, which is a just a simple test. And that's done. Now we can actually print the attachments as well to PDF. Add on setup, print attachments, save and exit, click print. As you can see here, what it does it extracts the files that are in the message file. Uh, prints them out. Just in the last one now, I'm just printing that PDF file and I'll print that 64.txt. So that's got test.pdf, which is creating now. Take a few seconds. Go. It's printed the test PDF in 64. And if you want those in order, just order by date. It's exactly the same time, so it's not doing it properly. So that's that done. Now we can look at the uh, test one message file. So you got test PDF in 64, test in 64. And there you go. Now you can set it to do every message file by default by copying the settings, right mouse on it, copy add on parameters clipboard, click yes, then the message add on into right mouse, paste, and the settings there. So now I can remove those, add a say a new file, scroll across, it's already set, you don't have to set anything, and just click print and then away I go. And that's it.